All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. My name is Judson Powell. All right, here we go. King Rando, King Rando, I gotta say his name, say his name, say his name, because he's still alive, he's still kicking, and he's doing stuff the right way. So we wanna definitely uh, send a shout out to this young 21 year old brother um, that is uh, that is like doing the thing. And he is an example uh, of basically of what we mean. He's like, I don't need Biden, I don't need Trump, I don't need none of these politicians. And basically the brother, um, he, he started a school, bought a school bus, all of this stuff, 21 years old. So he's got the, he's got the, the kingdom mindset. Everybody be talking about kingdom mindsets and, and all this kind of stuff, but they don't know which kingdom they part of. So I'm going I'm to tell y'all, y'all, y'all are a part of, um, the comedic kingdom. So please, uh, and if you got if you got a couple extra dollars, please float them to this brother because he's doing the right thing. And basically, that's what I've been talking about the whole time when when we start talking about stuff and we're like, hey, you know, you gotta you gotta basically you gotta realize um, that the, the oppressor, your oppressor, um, is not going to do anything to help you. You know, your oppressor is not going to try to help you. Um, there is a, a thing right now. Um, Jamil Hill, uh, she she wrote a uh, wrote a, a tweet earlier that I read, and there uh, from, from according to her, there are 243 uh, bills over 43 states that have been introduced in order to stop voting, but there have been no um, there have been no bills written or submitted that do anything about gun control. Um, and as we know, in Boulder, Colorado, yesterday, 10 people were killed, including one police officer. Uh, we send out our, our deepest and heartfelt condolences uh, to the people that were killed there. But we got to understand that there, there has to be something done. There are more handguns than there are people in the United States. Why is that? Why are there more handguns than there are people in the United States? Other things that need to be taken care of that I've seen uh, the filibuster it needs to be done away with. Filibuster needs to be done away with. Um, the the uh, the, base, the basically the the electoral college needs to be done away with. The Thirteenth Amendment needs to be done away with. There needs to be language change in the Constitution. The whole three fifths of a human being it needs to be done away with. There's 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 too much stuff that's just lingering because and the, and the reason why I say that some people say, oh, it's not a big deal. But it is a big deal because it is written, you know, so it is written. So it is done. Y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't realize that when they put that stuff down there and, and it exists, then you have an obstacle. You have an obstacle to overcome. So we need to overcome. Um, Jamil Hill was talking about that. 243 bills, almost a bill in every state. In almost every state, there has been some voter voter uh, suppression bill uh, signed. And that's why I'm telling y'all, stop thinking that just because you voted for president that you don't have to vote in all the rest of these other elections because you do. Because these are, the, these are the elections that decide judges. They also, in the midterm, they decide Senate seats. So all those Senate seats, the Senate seats that we won back, we got to continue to fight to get more. And the people that need to go, need to go. So if there's somebody that you can identify in your state that's a racist, that is a bad person, and I'm not talking, and, and that's why I keep asking y'all, that I keep telling y'all, are you going to be, are you going to be a good citizen of the world? Are you going to be a good citizen of the world? And are you going to be productive to that end in making people good citizens? That's what it's all about at this point in history. Because what are they, I mean, they, they don't mind about the mass shootings. They're not going to do, they're not going to legislate anything about the Second Amendment, but they will legislate everything that they can to suppress votes, to keep the filibuster, to keep the electoral college, all of those things are are suppression tools. They're tools to suppress the majority.
from getting their way. And, I, and when I say majority, and I'm not talking about it, look, and that's another thing. Black folks, and I know y'all can hate me all y'all want, but, and I was talking about this yesterday, the sacred key. There are 13 sacred keys, but the main key to unlock the sacred keys is love. The, the first the first spiritual key is love. You must unlock your love. And then you must, and, and a lot of people, they ask, well, why are we so forgiving? Why are we so kind and everything like that? Because it's our netter. It's in our nature. We are not, we are not, and, and the other thing is, do not, and, and I, I talk about a minimal, a minimal, and, and his, and his, um, and his Psalms and his, um, and, and his Proverbs, and one of the Proverbs says what? Do not envy your oppressor and take none of their ways. So you're not trying to emulate these people. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get rid of these people so that you can put the correct way. Mayat, 42 principles of Mayat, still there, always going to be there. You know, and I'm just trying to tell y'all, the, the principles of Mayat, y'all need to get on it. Get on it. I started to go through and do all of them, but then I was like, no, nah, it's, it's probably best for you to go through and do it on your own because then that way, because they're negative con confessions that you're making, that you got to understand, we our, our whole thing is that the whole thing with thou shall not kill, thou shall not disrespect, you know, disrespect the property, your own property or the property of others, you know, all these other things that, that, that are in the 42 negative confessions of my eye, these are things that we need to instill into the society because that's what's missing from our society. And, and, and the next thing is when I was talking to my wife last night after the shootings in Colorado and, I, and, and, and the, the, the main question that I had for her was what? Why? What do you want? You got the country, you got all the best land, you got all the money, you got you got access to money, you've had redlining, you've had all of these discriminatory practices uh, and systemic racism systems in place for 400 years. 400 years and now you don't want to let anybody else, you know, because you're so you're so greedy and you're so stingy and everything else, you don't want anybody else to get it. So everybody has a, you know, I saw I saw a post, you know, um, you know, they they just try to they try to dis, discount and disrespect everybody. And just because somebody is not like you, that doesn't mean that that they don't have the same sacred keys in their heart, they don't have the, the, the sacred key of love in their heart. That's why you were able to take advantage of Native Americans called Indians. You were able to take advantage of them all the way and then and then you, you had a you still have a ritual that is performed every year called Thanksgiving. You have them and us giving thanks for your murderous behavior. You got murderous people uh, in, on statues and everything else, idolatry all over the place. But y'all want to tell us that that our that our ancestral religions and our as ancestral uh, spirituality and ritualistic things are evil. But you do the same thing. In fact, you're using some of the stuff that 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 our ancestors invented in order to in order to enslave and subdue us. It has to, it, 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 it's got to end, you know, and we're not, you know, what do you want? So once again, I pose the same question I posed to my wife. What do they want, babe? It's like, why you, why you walk into some place and, and, and you kill eight people, you know, as in the, as in those spa shootings. And then you walk into another place, you kill 10 people. You walk into a church, you kill nine people. You, you just walking, you just walking around, just killing people. You know, you you dragging people behind trucks and 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 harassing people and hanging and lynching and doing all this stuff for what? What do you want? You already you already live in the best life. You can you know, you can walk into a bank and you can you can take all the money home. Black, brown, yellow, red, people can't do that. What do you want? You know that that that's the question. What do you want? And then you got young brothers like 
you know, like the one that's out here, this young brother King, it's like, yeah, you know, he took it, he took on Roland Martin. He was like, look, man, he was like, stop, stop feeding. And, and that's the other thing. I know I'm old, but I'm not going to feed y'all the same old rhetoric. I'm not going to feed y'all the same bullshit. You know, do what you got to do. Because you could do it. And I, I, if anything, I'm here to give you encouragement. I want to encourage you. And the other thing is, and, and, and y'all need to get out of religion. Get out of religion. There's, there's no reason for y'all to be in these, in these fake, phony religions that were created by your oppressor in order to keep you oppressed. They not oppressed. How come how come Jesus doesn't do the same thing for them that he does? You know, we don't get the same results, Jesus results that they get. I mean, just ask yourself, think, start thinking, start thinking critically and start thinking independently and start thinking out the box. You know, what can I do? Think like that brother did. And, and figure out what is there in your community that you can do and start going to action. Even if it's just registering people to vote. Even if it's just, you know, register and vote. Vote, bro. Look, I, sister, I need you to vote. I need I need you to vote. Even if, what, no matter what you feel, they got people running around. And, and that's how that's how they always got coonery going on in our neighborhoods and in our in our society and everything else telling us, you know, this stuff ain't important or that ain't important, but that's how the government works. You got to, you know, it's like lotto. You got to be in it to win it. If you don't buy a ticket, you ain't going to win. You ain't going to win the mega millions, baby. If you don't have a ticket. So you got to start punching a ticket, get a ticket and play, play the game. And we got to start playing the game at a higher level. We can't keep playing the game. We can't even keep playing the game at a at a Mark at, at a Malcolm and Martin level. We got to go beyond that. The elders they they are elders. They are now ancestors, and they have laid the blueprint. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad and I'm not talking. We're not talking about religion. Get the religion out of your head. But look at what it says in the message to the black man. He didn't say the message to the to the Muslim man. He didn't say the message to the whatever. He said the message to the black man. And that is go go forth and and put your own stuff into place. Start your own businesses. Start your own schools. You know, build your own communities. Build your own houses. You know, stop sitting up there waiting for government subsidized houses. Oh, I'm on the Section 8 list. You know, fuck the Section 8 list. Build some houses. Sorry, I'm cussing, but that's the way I feel. You know, I feel like Kirk Franklin talking to his son. Right? For real. We got we got all the people we need. We got lawyers. We got doctors. We got engineers. We got architects. We got people in all walks of life. We got people, we, we, we invented all of these disciplines back in ancient times, 50,000 years ago. All of these disciplines, everything that we need in order to build and to become ma the master builders that we are, it's already in place. All we got to do is use it. All we got to do is pull the book out of the library at Timbuktu. All we got to do is pull that, pull that book out and read that book and figure out what to do. Stop, stop playing the victim. You know, like I, I, I tell my son that all the time. You know, the victim card is, over, is overused. It's more used than the race card. You're not a victim. Be victorious. You're not a victim. The only time you're a victim is if something happens beyond, you know, something happens that, like that's beyond your control. But you know what? All of this stuff is within our control. All of it is within our control. We just have we just have to go and, and put the universal law of action into effect and become active. We can't we can't expect for nobody to do nothing for us. You know, I don't want you know James Brown, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. Just open up the door and I'd get it myself. He was he was he was trying to preach to us back then. You know, he was trying to preach to us back then. 
I work 350 days out of the week. I take 15 days off. But every other day, I'm working. I'm hustling. Anyway, Fast 15 Minutes is up. I love y'all. Hit all the buttons. Subscribe button, all the buttons, button, 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 button. But hit the love button. I love y'all.